By now, you probably understand that Google customizes a lot of our data center design. This customization traces back to the beginning of a data center story, where it lives. So how do we select our data center sites? Data center site selection is all about balancing a variety of factors. A data center location has to have the right combination of energy infrastructure, proximity to our users, available workforce, and available land. Some of our data center campuses are the size of hundreds of American football fields. Yeah, that's a lot of touchdowns. One of the first things to assess is exposure to natural disasters. Areas that are prone to earthquakes, extreme weather events, or floods aren't good candidates to house thousands of machines. Though sometimes it's unavoidable for what we're looking for. So we accommodate through our designs. In case unexpected scenarios arise, we've designed for redundant power supplies and data replication. Fiber network connectivity is another factor. Understanding latency limits and distance to nearby points of presence or network access points is a major piece of the puzzle. And since power is a high ongoing cost and impacts the environment, we always search for reliable and efficient carbon-free energy options to ensure sustainable operations around the clock. Areas with temperate climates or other suitable environments provide options for 100% outdoor air or water cooling to augment or replace mechanical air conditioning. And added cherry on top, finding sites with unique geographic qualities can improve environmental performance. For example, our data center in Belgium uses recycled water from a nearby industrial canal to cool its servers, making it more sustainable and the first Google data center to eliminate refrigerated cooling. In Finland, we transformed an old paper mill located next to the Bay of Finland into a data center. The bay's water, sitting at 57 degrees Fahrenheit or 14 degrees Celsius all year round, allows us to use seawater to cool the data center. Our Taiwan data center is one of Asia's most efficient and environmentally friendly. Our nighttime cooling and thermal energy storage system cools water at night when temperatures are lower, storing it in large insulated tanks. Then during the day, it's pumped throughout the facility to cool our servers. Thanks in part to a partnership with Dutch farmer cooperatives, our data center in the Netherlands sources carbon-free power directly from local wind farms. Our data center in Ireland uses an advanced air cooling system that takes advantage of Ireland's temperate weather to keep our servers running smoothly. As a result, the data center can be cooled efficiently with outdoor air instead of air conditioning units. As you can see, there's no one size fits all for Google data centers. Each one is built to adapt to local strengths and thrive. But what does this mean for you at home and our real world applications? Find out next time on Discovering Data Centers.